Welcome to Movies Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube, and this is my 2004 Mini Cooper S Monte Carlo 40th Anniversary Edition, a very cool Mini Cooper, and I am a, a, a big fan of these. Really, I'm not. They were engineered by BMW to a cheaper level because this was a cheaper car and sold to people who did not maintain them. So you get BMW engineering with uh, lower quality materials and, uh, well, lower quality ownership maintenance. And you get this car right here, 104,000 miles, and it is easily mechanically totaled. The good news is I bought it for only $2,000 and it's a really cool chili red special edition Monte Carlo edition. So for some reason, I'm dumb enough to think that this car is worth saving. I had the car already at the Car Ninjas, which is where we are now. He gave me an estimate of $6,000 to sort out everything. Basically, he said everything from here forward needs to be replaced, probably. Well, not the engine, maybe, and probably not the transmission, but the clutch is slipping. It's leaking from pretty much everywhere. It needs its 100,000 mile service. The suspension is shot. The brakes, I believe, are okay, but that's about it. Now, the Ninja has already gotten started with the repairs on this car. He's replaced the headliner in record time, surprised me with that. Uh, but apparently he's gotten so good at pulling the drivetrains out of these Mini Coopers that he can get the entire engine out in less than an hour. So I'm gonna test him with that. We have the camera set up. So we'll see how ninja the Ninja truly is, but uh, if it only takes an hour to take the engine out, why is he charging me $6,000 for everything? But before we challenge the Ninja, I'd like to thank Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. And Manscaped hooked me up with a bunch of tools and formulations from their all-in-one performance kit. So let's open up and see. It's very, very nice packaging in here, starting with their Manscaped 3.0, which is supposed to prevent nicks and scratches. Um, You've probably let yourself go down there, especially if you're married like me. So using this, you'd be like those adventurers discovering the Mayan pyramids again, except they're all covered in vines and this, this would remove them. Very, very nice, but there's more in here. You have uh, moisturizing and reviving toner for your, your stuff, among other things. Uh, but Manscaped also sent me a lot of other nice things like their refined cologne and uh, the weed whacker for your nose, which uh, I'm starting to need as I get older, and a very nice sheer kit with uh, some scissors, nail clippers, that kind of stuff. Really well packaged, nice stuff, and something you would obviously need. And speaking of minis, manscaping can make things look well Hummer size. So this, this is something that you could actually use. You can support me and my generous sponsors and get 20% off and get free international shipping and get two free gifts when you click the link below to manscaped.com slash hoovies and use the code hoovies for checkout. But uh, let's, let's get back to minis. Very nice, Ninja. Almost done. No you droopy like headliner. Yeah, it looks like it was always there. Not bad, not very, bad. very nice. So, how many engine outs on Mini Coopers have you done? Uh, honestly, I lost count. I lost count. <laughs> and the yeah. book time is several hours. Yes, it's like seven hours, I think, something like that. For in and out or just out? In and out. In and out. But you can do the out part in under an hour, apparently. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, that's almost unheard of, except for like the air cooled Volkswagen engines can come out really fast. But I didn't think these, because it, it comes out the top, right? Uh, actually, it just slides out like a, like a Volkswagen. So the whole nose has to come off? Yes. And you can yes. do it all in less than an hour? Yes. You're just going to observe. You're not going to interrupt, right? No, I don't want to mess you up at all because okay. I guess maybe I should have some a bet. If you can't do it, do I get a free repair? Sure. All right, Ninja, when should I start the timer here on this uh, hour engine out? Pretty much. Let me make sure the other side is good and then... Uh, as soon as the car is in the air. We'll start? Yes. Less than an hour. For all that. For all that. The AC machine's hooked up. It doesn't quite count yet. The wheels haven't left the ground. You've got a tool in hand. When the wheels leave the ground, it'll be go time. Ready? Yes. All right. Three, two, one, go. Wheels have left the ground at 1.35 p.m. What's the first order of business? Tires, bumper, radiator support, and then all the belts and hoses. We'll 
Well, sorry about the the mud in there, Ninja. Ah, oh, it's okay. But you're you're ten minutes in. All you've done is fenders. And the bumper is almost out. Yeah, because I couldn't find the screws. They were hidden from the mud. Uh oh. Yeah. So. The excuses are already coming. Yes. You know it. <laughs> Well, less than 10 minutes later, and we see the whole engine. How about that? A very oily, messy engine. Yes. That's your supercharger right here. Mounted sideways, the supercharger, with the intercooler on top. Well, I was making fun of the engineering on these things, but really. It's not bad, I mean. It is not bad. It's a pretty simple little thing. And there's a better view of the completely blown out struts. Yes. And this this was the better mount. That's the bad one, yes. Yeah. Uh, you can notice it more when it's on the ground, actually. Well, it's still cracked up. Just hitting the halfway mark and you're unbolting exhaust? Yes, everything is going smooth. Yeah, pretty good pile of parts already starting here. Well, the next 10 minutes have been slow going here. Yeah, because the uh, shifter cables, they're a pain to get out. Oh. They have special clips. Got those, but uh, I noticed another coolant leak. I couldn't see with all the junk around, you know. Your thermostat housing is leaking. So Perfect. I have to get you. It's fairly cheap. Okay. Well, we're already spending six thousand dollars. So what's another few hundred bucks? Oh, it's not gonna be that much. Oh, good. All right. Well, carry on. Less than twenty minutes, Ninja. Oh. It's taking me longer to take two coolant hoses than deconstruct the whole thing. So we finally found some BMW-ness. Yes. Cooling systems, a yes. consistent theme. <laughs> Made of plastic, they leak, but on the Mini Cooper, they're almost impossible to reach. Exactly. Ooh, Ninja. It's less than 10 minutes. I don't know how. Throttle body, there's still the axles on there. Oh, they come out very easy. Defeated by lower control arms, huh? That and there is a bearing here. It's gonna take me a few minutes for the axle and then it should be out, so we'll see. I'm still gonna keep going. Oh, it, it sharded you. Yeah, the axle pooped on me. Oh no. Easy fix, we'll put new boot in it. Okay. Well, it, it jiggles. The last piece of the puzzle from the bottom. Look at that. And you should be able to pull the engine out. Yeah, yeah, 25 minutes over. So an hour and 25, well, 24 minutes. Acceptable? Very acceptable, very impressive. 
Well, this side of the engine's just as ugly as the front side. So what's causing my low oil pressure light? Uh, those are very famous to fail, soil filter housings. There is a, a spring and a valve inside. They go out all the time, so mm. I got you a new one coming. That does look quite oily, but yeah. Actually, it's actively dripping, but the actual housing itself fails. And somewhere in here is my clutch, which clutch. is... We're going to separate it. We're going to go over there and separate the engine from the training. Beautiful. Yeah. I probably couldn't have gotten the bumper off in an hour and 24 minutes, if I'm honest. <laughs> but uh, BMW Mini, when you're doing a clutch job, they recommend doing this inside the car, right? Yes, yes. It's, it's insane. Have you done it inside the car before? That's how I got trained when I first started doing this. How long would that take you? All day. <laughs> yeah. Versus getting the engine out in an hour and a half. Yes. So. And now you have so much room for activities. Oh yeah, I mean you can do, it's gonna be even cheaper for you to do other stuff, you know? Well, look at this kooky linkage setup. It works. <laughs> it does. You ready? Yeah. Unmate. Get the pry bar. Stinky. Yes. Very, very stinky. Throw up bearing. Oh, it's done. <laughs> Look at the grooves in it. Oh, no. Oh. Damn, that clutch is coming. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Look at that, the rivets. I told you. Yes. They're already touching. Grindy, grindy. And this one's still good. Real lucky, it grinded on the uh, outside pressure plate. And not the flywheel. Yes. Well, that was very impressive from the car ninja. An hour and 20 something minutes to take this Mini apart. But taking cars apart is usually the easy part, at least in my experience. Putting it back together, <laughs> there's a lot of parts sitting over there. So we'll check back on the wizard here in a few days and see. Oh, it's ninja. We're at ninjas. We'll check back with the ninjas in a few days and see how he's doing. Well, it's actually been about a week since you tore the engine out in an hour and zero progress, but it's not your fault. No. What happened? No parts. No parts. Uh, so the big deep freeze in Dallas and elsewhere has caused big problems with shipping companies. I've been waiting on a FedEx overnight for over a week now. And it's the same with parts. It's kind of ground your business to a halt, huh? Pretty much. I mean, the parking lot is packed. But you have the little pulley, at least we can show show this to the supercharger it's it's smaller yep how much smaller 15 percent that'll give me how much power um quite a bit you, you you should notice the difference okay oh you've gotten a few things a motor mount a belt the belt and the tie rod not enough to do the job though unfortunately i would love to show more progress than ninja sure would too but uh that's where we're left at so thanks fedex uh, thanks Mother Nature, I guess. And I guess, yeah. We'll uh, have the Mini back together soon and I'll be taking it for a drive. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching.